everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We are here with Sydney, and Sydney is gracious enough to share her sketchbook with us. How are you, Sydney? I'm doing all right. Where are you from? I'm from Texas, Dallas. Awesome, awesome, awesome. awesome. So, uh, what's your dream job? One of, like, oh my gosh, uh, storyboards, writing, have my own show, hopefully one day. Nice, perfect. So, let's check out your sketchbook. Why don't you slide a little closer with that chair if you want, get more comfortable. Sure. And I'm going to lift this sucker up and let's go for it. Right. So, I think that Sid, all right, Sydney's work is cartoon heaven. Uh, if you're into cartoons and you're into animation, um, you know, that is really what Sydney's work is all about, in my opinion. Um, so, when did you start this sketchbook? 12, 13? Uh, yeah, sometime in December. Okay. And these drawings, you're using a mechanical pencil? Yeah. How long do you usually spend on a page? Uh, I try to do at least a page a day, uh, so it'll take maybe like a couple hours. Okay. Just not the drawings itself that takes a lot of time, just like uh, like coming up with ideas is the hardest part for me. I see. And so I, what I also see is that a lot of your characters have these crazy expressions. That's my favorite thing in the world. Really? Expressions. F flip that sketchbook horizontally. And so you're pretty used to doing the expressions. You've been doing them pretty much your whole life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because every pose, every face has a certain expression. That's pretty incredible. Now, uh, today I, I was watching Sydney draw and she has been having a lot of breakthroughs lately. So I, I would say, you guys, as you watch this sketchbook video, you're going to see uh, a lot of breakthroughs, like towards the end of the sketchbook, things just get even much more relaxed. That's a beautiful page. Museum trip. Yeah, that, that was a really beautiful page. They had that, that curse word up in the uh, glass cabinet, right? What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you'll find a lot of that when you look through like my life drawings. I yeah. like the birds. Yeah, they're starting to get some flow there. Is that a little fox? Something like that. Yeah, foxes are my favorite. Did you find that like totally hard to draw? The skeletons? Yeah. I tried to like simplify them and like break them down in kind of a minimalist way. Because bones are hard. Yeah, totally. And I love that walrus. Yeah, see, you guys see all of a sudden, hold on a second now, that, that, that to me is a really good breakthrough page because um, it really fits with Sydney's style and, and the line variety is there, the gesture is there, that, that fish is incredible. Is it a shark? Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Gorgeous. Even the line here is starting to get a little bit more confident and you're using uh, more of a continuous line on it. Very fun. So what type of mechanical pencil, 0.5? Oh gosh, probably like 0.7 or 8. Okay. I don't really pay attention to that. Okay. So all of this, are, are you animating these characters or is this just all character design? Like are you animating these characters in Marty's class? Um, yeah, I mean most of it's just for personal work. Okay. But I do animate most of them. And when I design a character, I have animation in mind. I see. So I like to think about shapes and like simplicity. And what have you been most inspired from? Oh, or by? That's a hard question. Um, wow, okay, so look at that. You got, uh, I like the shapes a lot. That's a great page. Like, what animation, let, let me ask that question a different way. What animation series has inspired you to? Um, probably my favorite show on Cartoon Network right now is Clarence, just because I think it's really cute and charming and I love the characters and how just weird they are yes so okay that's a good that's fair that, I, I mean I don't know uh, I don't have a favorite animation I guess what inspired me was uh, Norman Rockwell <laughs> Sam I just I just dated myself right there but the movement and the facial expressions and the fun 
You see, the one thing that's been very consistent throughout with all of Sydney's uh, drawings have been the uh, fact that she knows who she is as an artist and that when I look at her drawings, like I can see them on TV, on a Nickelodeon or a Cartoon Network. And when she has done her, you would agree with me on this, even when you did your big black and white piece, not the color piece. Not the that, color piece. Yeah, it looked like your, your characters, right? Yeah. So you're, you're so consistent and you so know what you like. That's really important. So you're starting to bring more variety into it midway through the sketchbook. Love that. Very cool. Did some uh, character <laughs> studies of, <laughs> for my villain. So there you go. Story pitch. All right. And who better inspiration for a villain? <laughs> okay, this is now January. And what marker are you using there? I use Copics and Prismacolors. <clears throat> okay, that's. So, okay, let me ask you a question. Why all of a sudden now are you starting to press down harder with a pencil? Like, seriously. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, when you do that, like, your drawings have so much more power. It's really, that's another great little page. So, what would be the one or two words that you would say describes your, your style? Um, bouncy. I like to think of. My style is bouncy, especially when I animate and, uh... Okay, hold on a second. This is turning out to be by far <laughs> one of my favorite pages. I mean, look at the line on the top left. Bouncy. I love that word. I've never thought, thought of that word for style, but I think that's totally unique. Fun is too generic. That's a character from our D&D session. <laughs> that's a good page. So these are just like all random experimentations? I guess so. With the marker and stuff? Yeah, I mean, I like to try to do as much different stuff as I can. Okay. Wow, that yellow, blue, red is intense. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I'm always trying to figure out what kind of style I want to go for with the colors that I use. Like, do I want pastels? Do I want bright colors? Do I want, I don't know. So when you graduate from this school, we're going to talk about your game plan in a few weeks, but like, what do you envision you, yourself doing when you graduate, first month, ideal-wise? What would you be doing? Uh, go to California. Okay. Wow. It's my D&D boy. And you have a website or a blog that we're gonna, or Instagram or something? I need to make an Instagram. I've got a personal Twitter and I've got a YouTube channel. Okay, we'll share that blog later on, uh, or the, the link I meant to say. Yeah. Do you have your animation on the YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, cool. So you're into this sketchbook about two and a half months, right? Uh, I think about three. Wow. Which I mean went quicker than most of my sketchbooks like before I came here because I used to use both sides of the page. And I'm not sure if I want to go back to doing that with this next one. Yeah. But. I mean if, I, I'm a tree hugger, I love trees, but I'm not going to conserve paper. I, I'm not about, I, I don't want my drawing smudging. So if I did a really good drawing, I'm not gonna do another one right next to it. It's just I, gonna smudge. I get that. It's like a lot of the times it would usually be okay, except for like one or two pages where I got graphite heavy or like the pages at the front would get especially bad. So yeah, I started keeping like an extra piece of paper between them, like when I went through pages. Mm. Yeah, the, the expressions are awesome. It's a friend's character. 
I like the button zipper. <laughs> I'm very glad. Wow, look at that. Jesus, why am I drawn to the pages that make you laugh? The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. <laughs> I'm already making us do expressions. How did you get so good at doing these di diverse expressions? I make a lot of weird faces. <laughs> so, I don't know, like that's just the most fun part for me, is the emotion. That's the most important thing to me. Interesting, I love that. See, I'm such a technician, I never think of the emotion. It's always about angles and atmosphere and edges, and you think about emotion. That is so cool. Little rim light action. Those characters down there at the bottom are nuts cool. They're from My Hero Academia. It's oh an anime. God. And you feel the heat coming on if it's not hot enough in here? <laughs> I think I'm all right. It's nuts. It's uh, where the classroom doubles as a sauna. <laughs> and when it gets windy, it gets loud. Oh, yeah. So just storyboarding along here? Yeah, sometimes I do little, like, comics about my life. That's fun. Interesting. Love it. Look at that. that. You love color, too. Those are some intense colors. Wow. That is so fun. It's not even funny. <laughs> so, what I love about Sydney's work is that it's a bipolar opposite of mine, and that when I look at it, I just love looking at people's work and things that I, I can't do and that I haven't really tried to do. I, I don't do like cartoon characters and let alone expressions. So when I see Sydney utilizing the techniques that I teach her in class with her cartoon characters, like it, that's what I'm so intrigued about when I look at her work because it's just so different. And there's a lot of pencil mileage in here. Wow. We're on, this is definitely a three month sketchbook. I get really anal about filling up all the space of a page. Wow. Do you ever draw these characters when you're working in class on your life drawing pad? Like just in the corner for fun? Not often. You should do that more. I think it would really be uh, a nice kind of relaxer for your life drawings as well. So this is my new iPhone 7 Plus. The video better be better. It uh, weighs a ton compared to my other phone. I'm getting a good shoulder workout right now. Awesome stuff. And you do a lot of writing as well, I see. I, I do, I do a little too much writing. I've got an entire notepad on my phone, just full and full and full of just ideas. Wow, that is so Easter. <laughs> Colors are so Easter egg. Good stuff. Yeah, you gotta flip that. That is like one of my favorite pages. With that a uh, hot date outfit? Yeah, hot date outfit. Oh <laughs> my god, seriously? Now the question is, which one's the hot date outfit? They're all the hot date outfit. <laughs> Trick question. Gorgeous.
That's the anatomy homework. Anatomy. I did that for fun. Just. Wow. Nice. And uh, the end. Wow, that is really. I hope you guys enjoyed going through that sketchbook. What do you got on the next one? And then there was cardboard. Sydney, thank you so much for sharing your sketchbook. I really appreciate it. We'll share your. Um, yeah, on, under the video. Look under the video. Thank you. Okay. See you guys soon.